Folks, it's yet another day of bad tidings out of this administration, but this time it wasn't all bad. Early this morning, news reports confirmed that Biden's pick to run the ATF, David Chipman, had his nomination pulled because it was assured he wouldn't pass Senate confirmation. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, as Jen Psaki noted earlier today, David Chipman might not be going too far away. We always knew this would be challenging. There hasn't been an ATF, a confirmed ATF director in six years, uh, and only one confirmed director in its entire history. We knew it would be challenging. Uh, obviously, he has exemplary credentials. Uh, he's someone the president has a great deal of respect for, and we're in active discussions with him about what role uh, might be of interest to him in the federal government. Ah, well, if conservatives are outraged by his potential nomination, well, they'll certainly find another place for him. Why not, right, Steve? Right. Where do you think he's going to go? You know, I, I don't know, but listen, there are a lot of places, obviously, that don't need confirmation in the administration, you know, perhaps a White House job. So we're probably not entirely done with Chipman, but nonetheless, Jen, look, we don't get a lot of wins in Washington, D.C. lately, let's be honest about it. So when we do True. get a win, I think it's <laughs> worth celebrating. And this is worth celebrating because it is a win for the Second Amendment. It's a win for the Bill of Rights, for the Constitution. And I think it's also a win for a lot of pressure groups, frankly, and, you know, and I mean that in the best way, a proper public pressure campaign that worked. You know, we were very early on this on this show talking about Chipman and just how dangerous he was. There was a lot of pressure put on, particularly right. those, you know, so-called moderate Democrats, some of the Democrats who are not uh, of the crazy AOC variety, people like Joe Manchin, uh, tester yeah. of Montana. Don Jr. was going after Joe Manchin yeah. constantly. And, and I think that, you know, they felt the pressure, they heard the footsteps, uh, and by the way, same with some of the squish Republicans who can go either way on just about any issue. I think they realize that they did not want to get the Second Amendment crowd, which is substantial and powerful in the United States, and not want to earn their ire by uh, backing this man, Chipman. So this is a, a good win because, listen, as ATF director, a lot of powers. One thing we saw today from Joe Biden, right, is this is an administration unafraid to absolutely flex executive power, even in ways that are totally unconstitutional. So putting an anti-gun grabbing nut like Chipman in charge of the ATF ATF could have been really, really dangerous. Thankfully, it's not going to happen. <laughs> That's true. Well, you know, shifting gears a little bit, Steve, you know, we know Joe Biden isn't really with it at the moment, and his team knows it too, which is why they keep him on a pretty tight leash, especially in front of the press. Now, how many times has he said he's going to, quote, get in trouble for answering questions? He listened today, and he didn't take any questions yesterday, but yesterday he rebelled. Let's take a listen. Now, I'm supposed to stop and walk out of the room here. Well, I'm going to stop. So with your permission, I'm going to walk into the room because I want to say hello to all of you. Thank you. You know, every time I see this, again, so many times with what happens in this administration, I think, just imagine if Trump did that or if Trump said that. Right. And the left would be going crazy. It would be the headline on CNN. Uh, but, yeah, it's okay. Nobody says much about it. But, obviously, within the White House, those staffers uh, are certainly nervous when he takes the podium to see if he's going to take any of those shouted questions uh, at the end from perhaps an Emerald Robinson. Right, exactly. Well, and unfortunately, she has to shout them at the end when, when they're turning their back to her, either the president uh, or Jen Psaki. But you're right. By the way, one of the questions that he should be asked, uh, you know, is Joe Biden, you keep mentioning, you know, I'm supposed to do this. I've been told to do that. By whom? By whom? You know, right. you are the president of the United States. Uh, you know, who is directing you? Is, is, is this Joe Biden? Is this Barack Obama? Is it somebody else? Well, listen, Wouldn't folks. Wouldn't you love to know? Yes, I would. Yeah. I would. We'll, we'll know someday. <laughs> folks, that's going to do it for us tonight. Have a great night, everybody. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them. Tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.